Hey guys, it's a blessed and beautiful day. Um, today I'm going to be showing you some of the things you need to do when you have an Eco Sullivan printer. Um, some of the settings that I use for printing as well as how you change your maintenance box. I know that after you run your printer for a while, you'll get a notice saying that your maintenance box needs to be changed. And if you don't know how to do that, you can find yourself in a bad spot. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that and uh, let's get into it. Go to change your maintenance box what you're going to need is you're going to need to go ahead and get you your replacement maintenance box you can see mine's got some dust on it because it's sitting in the back and it gets all dusty and then you're also going to need just a phillips head screwdriver um i got this maintenance box at staples they don't sell it in store you have to order it online but i think i got it in about two or three days so make sure you order ahead of time so that you're not in a spot where you need to change your maintenance box and you don't have one. Typically, I'll order two of these so that way I can uh, have one on hand for when my maintenance box runs out. When you're changing your maintenance box, you're gonna just turn your printer off. You can, I don't usually leave mine on. Turn my printer off and I just rotate it uh, to the side. And you can see, right, it's actually wrong. It's not a Phillips head screwdriver. It is a flat head screwdriver. So you're just gonna, Go ahead and get your flathead screwdriver and kind of untwist the screw. Get that untwisted. And you'll know when it's done. You don't have to take the screw out of the hole or anything, but you just go on the side here and uh, pop that right open, just like that. And then you'll see in here, this right here, this is your maintenance box. This is what you're going to be switching out. And all you're going to do to switch it out is literally pull it out. So this is the old maintenance box. You look in there full of ink and yuck and stuff like that. I would recommend not touching that ink stuff unless you want ink all over your hands. And just for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to do exactly what you're going to do with your new maintenance box. And that's simply take it and slide it back into place. So I'm putting my old one back in because it doesn't need to be changed yet. But this is what you're going to do with your new maintenance box. And then after that, you're just going to take your thing, your uh, little side panel, gonna slide that back on. You're just going to screw it back closed. And then after that, you're literally all done changing your maintenance box. Turn on your machine and go about printing as you normally would. Now, a lot of people have also been saying that they've been having a hard time with getting their settings right for printing. Um, so I'm going to show you the print settings that I use when I use my Eco Sullivan printer. And um, yeah, let me show you that. So I don't know what um, software you're going to be using to print from, but I use Silhouette Cameo because I also set up my uh, contour cutting for when I'm cutting around designs. I have to make a jacket, so I already have my artwork there. I have my diameter set up for my print and everything. And then I'm gonna just go right over here to print and make sure that it's looking good. I click print Then I'm gonna go to my settings and make sure I have my right printer selected. I'm gonna click preferences here. And I already have a preset saved, but what I use is I use premium presentation matte and I just have it on color. It's just the standard premium presentations matte settings. And I just print from there. And I'm going to go ahead and print and show you how the print turns out. So my print is done. I'm going to go ahead and get a close-up of it. As you can see, I could probably do a head cleaning. But this will work because of it's going on a black. So it's going to look good. Um, you can see it's nice and it's dark. The color red is nice and rich. And you'll see how it turns out. I'm going to print it on a jacket. Now... One of the worst things that you do is not use your printer. Like, if you're having a lot of issues with getting um, clear prints, one of the issues that you could be facing is you're not using your printer enough. Um, I try to use this printer every other day. The reason being is I have another video <clears throat> about Eco Solomon printing. And after I made that video, my printer went bad. And it went bad because I wasn't using it enough. I did a ton of head cleanings and I still wasn't getting a good print. My reds were looking all splotchy. My blacks were coming out terrible. 
And the problem was I hadn't used it. I, I think I let it sit for a week or two because I didn't have any jobs that required the Eco Solomon printing and it just went bad. And I had to replace the printer, $699. Not something I wanted to do. I kind of held off as long as I possibly could, but after looking at how much heat transfers cost for multicolor prints, it just made more sense for me to just go ahead and replace the printer. So don't do yourself an injustice by not using your printer. Use your printer, even if you're just printing something silly. Print something up for a niece or nephew. Print yourself a new shirt, probably because you haven't made yourself one in a while. Or just print one for an example so that you can show what your printer can do. No matter what you use it for, make sure you use the printer because you don't want it sitting. I don't do head cleanings too much. I probably do a head cleaning once or twice every two weeks. And that's because I'm using the printer. And I can tell you that whenever the printer has been sitting, that's more than likely when I'm going to need to um, do a head cleaning. Say it's been two days and then I go to make a print and then my print looks a little rough. That's when I'll need to do a head cleaning. But other than that, if you keep using your printer, you should be good. All right, I got my jacket on my heat press. I got my print. I'm going to place it on the left chest here. I have my jacket turned sideways so that I can put a little pillow in here to press it. I'm going to go ahead and press this down for usually 15 seconds is what I do. 3.30 for 15 seconds. My beeper is going to go off because I have it set for 8 seconds because I was um, printing some heat transfers a little bit ago. But when that's done, go ahead and pop that up. I'm going to take off that, right, that little backing paper, and then you can see how that turned out. So the print turned out good, and I'm happy with it. So to recap, make sure that you are using your printer. Use your printer. You shouldn't have too many problems. Change your maintenance box whenever it tells you to. And um, other than that, if you guys have any other questions, please comment below. And I'll try to either answer them in the comments or I'll make a video. You guys can do me a favor. Will you give this uh, video a thumbs up and uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't. It uh, helps me grow and I appreciate you guys being a part of this journey. God bless.